Dual purpose cereals are changing the way Luke Cayley farms. The Ravensthorpe producer has this season harvested more than three tonnes to the hectare from a gardener barley crop, which was grazed for more than five weeks by his merino ewes and lambs. Well, but being able to kind of um, take out the feed gap in the early part of the season is actually, it gives you the option to put in either more paddocks into crop or even run more stock. So I, my feeling is I can put at least another two or three paddocks into crop, which I probably w wouldn't normally do. And um, it just, it seems to open up your options a bit more. And I think by doing that, it's also gonna increase the productivity of the overall farming system as well. Mr Cayley has been a participant in the Grain and Graze 2 program run by the Grains Research and Development Corporation and funded by the GRDC, the Australian Government's Caring for Our Country initiative and its regional partners. The program helps mixed farmers develop strategies to spread risks associated with climate and market variability. His success this year in using a malting variety barley as a dual purpose crop was all about timing. Well, I've found that um, putting Putting it in earlier gives you more grazing, uh, grazing time really. It it's actually can lengthen the grazing time out and also by putting it in earlier it actually allows you to get uh, f feed for your sheep when you really need it which is which I find here is more in the early winter, late autumn period so I can actually start grazing from anywhere from the middle of May through to uh, middle of July. And the strategy has revealed an unexpected benefit for disease control. In relation to powdery mildew, we, where it was grazed down really hard, um, there was very little powdery mildew. This was when back in uh, early July, and um, the area of the paddock which didn't get grazed hardly at all was um, was really bad with powdery mildew. It got to the stage where the only part that wasn't affected with powdery mildew was the the new leaf coming out of the sheath. So um, there was no doubt at all it actually held back the disease in, in the paddock there by being grazed. The results have encouraged him to expand his use of dual purpose crops again in 2012. I think probably out of a lot of the things I've tried um, in my farming system in the last oh, 15 years, it's probably one of the things that's actually probably given me more scope for productivity than, than a lot of things I think.